So, like, Eggman in the Archie Sonic comics is actually insane. Like, I know there's a whole arc where he loses his mind and does become insane, but even without that, he does some pretty crazy stuff throughout the entirety of the comic run. One of them ties into my most recent upload, which is the story of Sally's sacrifice as she became Mecha Sally. And although I had to cut it from the proper video because it was getting a little bit too sidetracked for the video and that video itself was already getting quite long, I do think that the story where Eggman essentially kills Snively is absolutely off the rails and just perfect for this little series I have of shorter crazy Sonic comic stories. So just a bit of backstory in case you haven't watched the Mecha Sally video yet, which I mean, even if you haven't, I think that you should watch it. It's not super important to this video, but it would mean a lot to me. Anyway, Eggman basically just had these two major victories against Sonic and friends. The first being that he roboticized Sally into his own mechanical slave, and the second one being that he practically killed Antoine in an explosion. The thing is, Eggman is actually worried about pushing his luck any further because this is the most ground he's ever gained. And so he's ordered his forces to retreat, which leads to Snively vowing to get revenge on Eggman and taking matters into his own hands because, understandably, he's a little bit peeved about having to retreat. And with that, you've basically got all the backstory you need to know, so I guess you don't have to watch the Mega Sally video unless you really want to learn more about the story. Now that Eggman has retreated, Snively has taken his plan into effect as he set up a full lockdown on the Death Egg and sent out a message to the Dark Egg Legion leaders stating that Sonic had killed off Eggman and is coming for Snively next. Eggman sends out his swap bots to hunt down Snively within his base as he turns off the lockdown. And as one of them is captured, it looks towards the camera with this creepy stare and blows up. From here, multiple Snivlies are found throughout the base as they're scattered all around the area with each one set to detonate after being found. Realizing that he'd been duped, Eggman summons his Dark Legion leaders as he explains to them that, well, first of all, he's not dead. And second of all, he needs to find the Chaos Emerald to power his Death Egg. And he then demonstrates his new Enforcers, which he has dubbed the Metal Series, with Mecha Sally as their leader, and to be honest, they're criminally underutilized for how cool they look, and we're not going to be seeing much of them at all, so I think it's kind of cool to show them off here. Eggman sends in the Metal Series after Snively, who had just narrowly managed to escape. Snively later shows up with his love interest, Regina Farinim, which, yes, even someone like Snively can find love, so there's no excuse for you not being able to find someone. And basically she's magic, and that's all I really want to talk about with her, because she's not that important and I don't find her that interesting of a character. Eggman fights them, he says that one thing that people like hearing him say, GET A LOAD OF THIS! And Eggman wins, but interestingly? Eggman lets them live, and not only live, but live pretty happily and free together. Except, plot twist, he didn't. As it's later shown, in a dingy underground area, that Eggman has captured and beaten Snively inside of a container where he's left him while Regina is with one of the Snively bots which he had repurposed to act like Snively. What's creepy about this though, and really shows how twisted Eggman is in this comic, is that Eggman announces that no one but him knows that Snively is down here, and that he intends to keep it that way for the rest of Snively's life, which means that I guess he's just gonna starve Snively down here and let him die a slow and painful death? And basically with that, that's the end of the story of how Eggman more or less just beat up Snively, locked him in a cage in his basement, and then left him for dead. Which honestly, you'd be pretty hard pressed to tell me that this guy isn't like a real supervillain. It's some really twisted stuff, and the kind of stuff that you would probably never see in video games, especially with how cartoony and comical they've gotten. Which, by the way, isn't a shot at any of that. I do personally enjoy the funny stuff in the video games as well, it's not like I want every Sonic game to be dark and edgy or something like that. It's just really interesting to see a character, especially when you think of him as being voiced by Mike Pollock, who does his current English voice. I don't like the way you attacked Chris and Cosmo! It's one thing to take them prisoner and threaten them, but when you actually hurt somebody, that's going too far! Doing something just so twisted and morbid. It, it just kind of boggles the mind is all, really. But ultimately, I hope that you enjoyed the look into this, and I also hope that you understand why it couldn't be in the main video, as Mecha Sally barely shows up, and when she does, she's really just a side character that could be replaced with any of Eggman's bonds. So I didn't really feel like this was relevant in the video that had to do with Mecha Sally as a main character. But I do think that that video is very interesting, and I think you should check it out, because uh, there's some pretty cool stuff in it, and it's actually one of my favorite arcs in all of Sonic. But ultimately, you don't have to. I think it would be cool if you did. I think it'd be cool also if you liked and subscribed, but 
I'm not your boss, and at the end of the day, all I really want from you is that you have a good day and that you enjoyed this. It suddenly looks into the camera with this creepy ass look. Oh, that was a swear. And one of them and when one of them is captured, it looks towards the camera with this creepy ass I said it again, what the heck? I normally don't swear.